Welcome back to Rising Stars, your favorite show bringing you all the local talent from Zimbabwe. I'm your host for today, my name is Nadia Mchizi. Today we're joined by the dressmakers from Lima Fashion and we're going to be hearing about your journey, what they're producing and I'm sure you're going to find it very interesting. Our first host for today is um, Mai Mushiki. So I'm going to be calling her up so that she can keep up about your journey as Lima Fashion. Stay tuned. How are you? Right. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. i that's an Alanisha Maria and your attention that is if a company which it company are liquidated. Do Patango forgot to data and go tango or tin to the business or taita. No, as a true fitness. I know of today, I can't do this. In the government of fashion and fabrics which call Sakapada group a company that will finish. Do for that is the Bokuna ye. She has a sale, my corrections in it. Sakasaka Mazwaya kutanga taichka, tishka kutitunga kusha ya marie rent. Asi, as time goes on, chakangura bati shingiri la tiru mpiu diyoi. Kushka parina asi, tiru ungo sona. Wow, alright. That's a very interesting story, my mutitu. Tisha muno funga uti chaka kwanza kutoti inini nesha ngwari enyu mkwante kushika pamuri ijeni. Nazwa mshiti maimbo chikane jerendi. How did you manage to persevere? Chicha ita kuti muskwere makashina. Taisa unatikino tingi sera o wangwe wani. Chigarati neo kama rike eduka ta ita set aside pari kuti kanashuka oma. Tino kwa nisa kubadara rendi. Alright, okay. So what I'm getting, ladies and gentlemen, is that this business did not start yesterday. They started in 1999. That's when they started dressmaking, but not in Lima fashion. So if you get your stuff made at Lima fashion, it's not just a dressmaker who started yesterday. These are people that have years of experience. So let's move on with the question. Um, for Imini, Samai Mutiki, Mutik Chamuni, Adeti Ichichi, Do Chandro Kwanza Kugaji, Icha, Kana Kunu, Zimbabwe, Kana Mwarare, Anondi Kunda. Muno ita matauza sere makola ere chicha muno zikana kuti mai avaka zvakandi tsonenda chakadai o hapana mumwe munhu anokwanisa kuti pudisa semapuditsiro avanisa Ha iti nonyanya kufarira kusona ladies we ma attire mezwe zvechikadzi zvechikadzi kashinji kashinji All right um yesa mari ma dresses anoita mari ma suits ma ladies zvine zvichinya so range from uh, what amount to what amount Kana tisha jatini jitu tari sama prize sisi maachira kutokana na kacha jamu no jira rasa jine mbendari wana mari in fact jesa jine kesi shali skai pa do swadi jine jitu tari sama prize acho kwa na kuti jine nda bosho wana mari do fadi nzo tangu kwa kuchaja do kuto kacha jao shoma wanu wanu doubta product yako ukaita o fa charge wanu doubta wakombe ya neva wangu kuti chambu ya tangu duri. Sakatini zida kuti sumcha chacha kana kwa tocha jaone prize ya choni yakana shindi na nchaka dar. Naita yenyu. 
You heard it first, ladies and gentlemen, from my Mutisu. We'll now move on to our next um, dressmaker who we're going to interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we're still at it here at Rising Stars. Today we are with Lima Fashions and we're interviewing Mai Chakuchichi, right? <laughs> Mai Chakuchichi. Alright, um, Masquera say Mai Chakuchichi. Masquera, don't Masquera, mama. Masquera, we are very excited to be interviewing you today. I hope you don't mind because we a couple of questions. Um, Eje, Lima Fashions, me, 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 basare nyura mukita pano. Ah, I don't mind. I don't know if my questions. What is it? Yeah, my kittens. Okay. My kittens, yes. uh, using my little fashion knowledge. Uh, and I have a kitchen, they have a bedroom. Bedroom. Oh, wow. Okay, we can see from the beautiful fabric. All right, my Chakuchichi. I'll just like you to introduce yourself a little bit. In any way, my Chakuchichi, but what else do people know you for? Jimmy Ani. Uh, my name is Mai Chakuchichi, a mother of two, a boy and a girl, Anisha and Tinoki and the Chakuchichi. I'm a married woman. I started this work when I was single. Going after school, I didn't go to dressmaking as such. Okay. My mother used to trade me doing dressmaking, sewing cushions, seat covers, baby wear. Oh wow. That's my inspiration. Wow. For my mother. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Gifted hands. Came straight from my mom right into her jeans. It's pretty amazing. So when did you join Lima Fashions? Uh, I joined Lima Fashions since 1999. Wow. Yeah. I was working with another woman. I was working for her. I am a designer, in fact. Oh, that's I was the new. one who designed every my dresses, I changes, I designed them. So when our company liquidated, we sort of a group. Then I can say we can manage getting another group. So it has to take a couple of months. Then we have a drop. Then we were two. Then I started selling some school uniforms. Oh, okay. Alright. But I can't get a job for my school uniforms. We used to sew our school uniforms, go out and sell them, to make our money for paying rent. That time it was difficult. Okay. Wow. But then as time goes on, yeah. we were managing bit by bit till now. Right. So from where you started in 1999, have you witnessed growth of Lima Fashions? You yes. were two and now how many yes. are you? We were two. I trained my younger sister. Mm. I trained the other one, Jesse. I trained the, my brother's wife, this one. So I think I'm growing. <laughs> I think you can really witness that there's a lot of growth happening within this yes. business. Part of the objectives of any business is to grow and clearly Lima Fashions is doing just that. Yeah. So let's move on with the questions. Um, we keep on hearing Lima Fashions, Lima Fashions, Lima Fashions and as a Zimbabwean I have to ask, who is Lima? <laughs> Lima is... Easy, but I can go with your soul. No, I want to call our company Lima. Okay. Our names. Oh, really? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> very, very interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell us about um, the best part about being a dressmaker? Is it being able to make your own clothes? Being able to be the most fashionable woman in the room? What exactly intrigues you or interests you about being a dressmaker? I think uh, 
very, very proud of it. I'm very, very proud of it. Was uh, and the one step up there, dresser, that's the one I'm on. I used to wear my own design. Yeah. Even my kids, they are also proud. Even my schools, Governor Zeta, they don't, they don't want to wear my uniforms as a new thing is for Yeah. They want to wear my design. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So I'm very proud of it. This is extremely interesting to hear. And I think you can tell that here we have our very own um, Paris Fashion Week right here in Harare. I'd like my Chichi to just address um, a little bit on what uh, they possibly need for their business to, to grow and expand uh, beyond what we're seeing it today as. Would you need more funding? Uh, what exactly do you think your business needs so that you guys can upscale um, onto a national or global level since clearly we can see that you have the passion? Yeah, I think maybe finance. We quit our very pagania thoughts. We could change our school uniforms. Okay. All right. My time. Thank you so much, uh, my Chakuchichi, for allowing yourself to be interviewed today. Um, we'll join after the break. Welcome back to your favorite show. This is Rising Stars. Today we're interviewing the dressmakers of Lima Fashions. Right now we're with Mai Maisha and we're going to be asking her a couple of questions. Welcome Mai Maisha. We're very happy to have you on the show today. Alright, my my friend, don't go to Bunza. I want to see my ambitions. You know, a company known as Lima Fashions. My daughter is born in 1999. We are an all-female. Before I was talking about a female black-owned business, Lima Fashions. You don't go to Bunza. I want to see my ambitions. You, um, we know that you're a dressmaker here. But is there anything else, um, Chamuda Kuita, in your life pertaining to dressmaking? Should you see Munga since you're going to expand, or is this where you've always, what you've always wanted to do? Wow. Mm. Oh, and now so that's amazing. Um, Lima Fashions is a vision. They want to expand not only as a dressmaking business, but to be designers as well in the field of making wedding dresses. And I think that's an amazing plan. Um, my second question, dear Kuti, you know what you want to do? I want to know what you want to do. I want to know what you want to do. I want to know what you want to do. And I want to know what you want to do. I want to know what you want to do. An all-female business. What was the thought into it? And how has that helped you um, as a business? Kushenda Alright. Okay, so you hear that? All females, no problems. They have 99 problems, but men are not one of them. <laughs> Alright. Um, my final question to you, my Maisha. Dear Kuti, um, business, Ilamukwita, uh, Selima Fashions, how has it sustained you? Um, we are looking at the economy. Yeah, it's, it's been made parlous. It's worse because of COVID-19 and we're in Zimbabwe ever since 2008 we've just been in a long drawn slump 
but to those with salty as a dressmaker is there a way if i'm an aspiring dressmaker and someone is telling me ah, don't do it don't do it would you advise me to do it and has this business sustained you Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, my Maisha. That was profound for my Maisha. You heard it first. Not only do they have gifted hands, but they put their trust in the Lord, the Alpha, the Omega, the author and the finisher of your faith. So we'll move on to the next interview week. We'll be back um, after the break.